Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Karina, also known as OMG Lashes, as you can see on my YouTube channel. Today we are doing a first impression, well actually it's, not it's kind of a first impressions a little bit. I will tell you what products are going to be a first impression, but today we're also doing a full face of Milani makeup. I'm super pumped. I saw that Manny MUA did a video like this and I was like, you know what, that's a really good idea. I've never done any Milani full face products and you also requested for me to do this. So here it is. If you wanna see my first impression on some products and if you wanna see how I beat and slay this bare face, then just keep on watching. I actually had to make a Walmart run because I had a bunch of Milani stuff but I didn't have enough of what I needed. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly before we jump into the tutorial what I picked up. I've never tried their brow pomade, so that will be a first impression. I also said that they had a few brushes. They didn't have very many. They literally only had these two, so I picked both of these up. This is a powder and bronzer brush, and this is a highlighter slash blending brush. I also picked up the new Instant Touch Up Blur Stick, which looks like this. I also picked up another one of the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I tried this when it first came out, loved it, ran out of it, and then I never repurchased. And then I also ended up picking up the lip gloss, which is their plumping, keep it full, nourishing lip plumper in the shade Champagne. Yeah, Champagne, which is a really pretty peachy color. So let's jump right into the makeup. So first things first, let's prime the skin. I'm gonna take the Instant Touch Up Blur Stick. I'm really curious to see how this works because you guys know that I love the Milk Makeup Blur Stick as well as the e.l.f. I did a whole brand comparison um, of them and I really, really like them both. And tons of you were telling me, you need to try this, it's really good. So we're gonna see how it works. This thing is tiny, look at this. We're just going to it doesn't smell like anything so it claims that you can use this either before makeup or after makeup it claims to blur imperfections blur your pores as well as fine lines i'm gonna place it right here because i do crease a lot in my smile lines there we have the primer it does feel a little bit not sticky but i can feel that i have something on my skin it doesn't feel like the milk makeup blur stick or the elf one so we're gonna apply the foundation and see how it works with this primer i'm gonna use the one and only milani conceal and perfects two in one they have two in one foundation and concealer foundation i'm gonna mix two shades 07 and 06 i'm gonna use my little elf palette and i'm just going to apply it directly onto here just like that. Before I go in with the foundation, I'm gonna take the Make It Last setting spray and just spritz it all over my skin. Ooh, I forgot how good that smells. Okay, let's take the foundation. Ooh, that might be a little light. I am gonna take a beauty blender because I prefer how it applies with a beauty blender when I'm working with thicker consistencies of foundations. Wow, I forgot how full coverage this foundation is. There we have the foundation, super full coverage. I literally did not use a lot. I just used a little bit and it just covered a whole bunch of imperfections. And on that primer, my pores look really small. So I don't know if it's a primer or if it's because my skin is dry. Usually when my skin is dry, my pores tend to like disappear, but I like the foundation. We're gonna skip to the concealer. I'm gonna take the Retouch Erase Light Lifting Concealer in the shade 04 Medium. I also haven't used this in such a long time that I don't even remember if I liked it or not. We're just going to apply this to the areas where we normally do the whole shebang highlights. I do wish that Milani had a broader selection, wider, broader, whatever you say, a selection for their concealers just because they didn't have very many. And so when I went um, earlier to Walmart to find other concealers, 
they don't have a lot so i was kind of bummed out that they didn't have more selection and i hope they eventually do but yeah this is in the shade medium and as you can tell it's still a little bit light we're going to bake really quick i'm going to take the milani obviously milani the translucent banana setting powder i love this i use it every now and then i don't pick it up as often but i do like it here is the powder it's pretty big and fluffy the bristles feel really oh that feels really soft i've actually never tried any of these milani brushes let's bronze up the skin i'm gonna take this baked bronzer in the shade 05 soleil this is actually one of my favorite drugstore bronzers even though it has a little bit of shimmer on it i really like how it looks on the skin so i'm just going to take that same brush that i just used for the powder and i'm just going to bronze up the skin oh see what a difference it makes to add bronzer like it just brings so much life onto the skin i love me a good bronzer and i'm really loving this brush you guys if you have tried any of the milani brushes let me know which one is your favorite and if you haven't tried them i really recommend this one for either bronzing all over or applying like your powder to set your skin i need to skip on to blush because even though the bronzer brought so much life into my skin and it just looks better overall i still need a blush this <laughs> i don't even know if they make this blush anymore they probably do but it's just newer packaging this blush is old super super old it is the sweet rose mineral powder blush you guys see that it just gives you the perfect amount of like rosy cheeks without looking like somebody slapped you with a piece of chancla or something let's apply a little bit of highlight that way we can finish off the face and then we can move on to the brows and the eyes i'm going to take this sun glow luminous strobe lights highlight number three i'm going to use the ex what highlighter blending brush so this is what the brush looks like oh i'm really excited it looks like the um the anastasia one who mama yes girl wow i forgot how beautiful this highlight was see this is the fun part about doing videos like these is that i get to pull out all the makeup that hasn't been played with in such a long time and then i get to fall in love all over again with these makeup products and then i get to use them now that we have that done let's move on to the eyebrows i'm a little bit nervous because this is the darkest shade that they had which is dark brown and it honestly doesn't look too dark now i am not going to use the pencil oh, the brow brush that it comes with it because i just don't like these like they're way too thick so i'm just going to stick with my brush because that way i will know if i truly like this product or not okay so the color is actually not too bad it is going on a little bit darker than how it's watched So I'm going to finish off the other eyebrow off camera and obviously this one. But I just wanted to show you guys and let you know that I did. I really like this. I thought it was going to be a lot lighter. But it matches my hair and it looks good. It's nice and dark and pigmented. So this one is definitely a keeper for me. For my eyes, I only have two palettes that I really wanted to work with. All the other palettes that I used to have, I don't have them anymore. But that's okay because these are like more than enough. So I'm going to take the bold obsessions palette which looks like this and then i'm going to take the most loved mattes which is full of obviously matte colors let's go into this shade right here i know that i'm holding it upside down but i don't want to blind you guys Ooh. i hope that's not too dark These are blending really, really smooth. I know that I've tried them before, but again, <laughs> I haven't played with them in a while. So I tend to forget what palettes are good and which ones are not. I knew that these palettes were good, but I just forgot how creamy and how easy these are to blend. I'm going to apply my brow bone color. You guys know that I can't go without applying my brow bone color. So I'm going to go back into the Most Loved Mattes and I'm going to pick up this shade, which is the perfect vanilla white shade honestly guys if i ever collab or if i ever come up with my own makeup 
you better believe that there is going to be a shade like this in my palette because I cannot live without it and I mean it. I'm going to go back into that palette and I'm going to go in with this orangey shade and I'm just going to use that same brush actually that I just used. What a beautiful shade. Oh my gosh. Milani has one of the best drugstore eyeshadows aside from Makeup Revolution. But as far as like what you can find at literally like your drugstore like Walmart and Target, Milani is where it's at with the eyeshadows, definitely. I want to add a little bit more dimension and depth. So we're going to pick up this one, which is a gorgeous like burgundy shade. I am going to keep this pretty much on the outer corners of the eyes, like right here. But I'm going to go in with this coppery shade right there. Oh my god, these have so much pigment. Do you guys see that? Milani doesn't have any lashes and I don't like their mascaras. I've tried a few of them and I don't like them. So I'm going to pop on some lashes and we can finish off this look. I'm going to go in with this Milani Color Salmon Lip Liner number 9. As you can see, it's tiny because it's one of my favorites. We're just going to line our lips and then we're going to apply a gloss. I'm not going to do any liquid lipsticks for today. I'm really excited to try this lip gloss. This is again, it's in the, sh <laughs> in the shade Champagne. It's really pretty. It has a little bit of a sparkle to it, but not too much. Whoa, that's a huge wand. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Okay, love the color, love the wand. I'm going to go pick me up some more. <gasps> yes. The very last thing that I'm going to do just to set everything in place, obviously, is take my Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And we are done. That wraps it up for me, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this full face of Milani makeup. If you guys did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And then also let me know what other products you guys want me to use or what other one brand makeup tutorials like Maybelline and NYX. I have done Maybelline in the past, but I'd love to do it again. So leave me your comments. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.